good. What's good, everybody? This is Capital J Productions. I'm back with another video. We're gonna get right into this. And today, this is look like it's rapper Chamillionaire talking about the music industry. Let's go. The state of the music industry is designed to rip off an artist. That's what I believe. I believe that when the check gets handed to an artist, the check is normally not right. The first person that told me this was Nelly. Nelly told me, you know, you gotta learn how to do this thing called an audit. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> and then he was like, man, you gotta get a lawyer. And so I searched, I found Jay-Z's auditor, right? And then this guy went and said, I'll do it for, you know, I'm not gonna charge you up front, I'm gonna take a piece. And I was like, okay. So. No, the, no, the lawyers. Notice he talking about the lawyers and how, um, you know, the, so the lawyers, they know this information, okay? Just ask yourself how the lawyers know this information. Um, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna play it once and then I'm gonna fully get my breakthrough after I play it a second time. And then I'll, I'll break down um, what he's pretty much saying. Well, he goes and he finds over $600,000 at the label hit. So I was like, wait a second. Is this the way it always is? He's like, yeah, you gotta keep on doing this. So I realized all my peers didn't know this. And the way I got off of Universal when they didn't want to let me go is I told them, if you don't let me go, I'm gonna go teach all these guys on the label how to do an audit. So the notice the lawyer didn't get him off. He he kind of had to get himself off. Just y'all gotta peep game on, on, on this industry and how it's all connected, you know, because I've been saying this stuff for I got like a um an hour long video, maybe almost a two hour long video about the music industry and how corrupted it is. You guys should sit back and listen to it. But, you know, I know a lot of people don't have that kind of time to sit down and, and really um, listen for like a whole hour. So uh, that's how come I'm, I'm like um, doing these reactions where, you know, it's only a couple of seconds and you get the information from there. <laughs> and they let me go because of that they didn't want to pay all that money all right so i'm gonna play it one more time and i'll start to break it down okay the, the state of the music industry is designed to rip off an artist now this is chamillionaire rapper chamillionaire he's not in the game no more but he he did some damage when he was in the game and um, and he's talking about how the music industry is designed to rip the artists off. Okay, I'm telling you, they do this to everybody. You know, it don't matter. You know what I mean? Like, it, it really does not matter who you are. They don't care about who you are. They they make stars. Okay, they create stars. So you know, if you don't abide by the rules, they'll just cut you off, and they they'll find somebody else. They'll find another sucker. You know that they can uh, turn into a superstar. And basically, to, to the fans, they look like superstars. But, you know, really these guys are just, um, they're puppets. It's basically what they are. Let's um, carry on. That's what I believe. I believe that when the check gets handed- I believe that too. I know that for a fact. Handed to an artist, the check is normally not right. He said the check, so the, the minute they give you the money to sign you, that money is not right. That's what he's saying here. So the they already have they already have you like you already set up for failure basically from the time you sign and they give you the money. The money is not right. So let's see what he says. First person that told me this was Nelly. Nelly told me Nelly. Okay. So I'm saying, see, Nelly is deep in the game. Everybody knows who Nelly is. I mean. These guys, when are you guys going to start believing these people? You know, people like me, people like um, so many people out here on YouTube that's telling the truth, you know, about this music industry. But let's uh, carry on. You know, you got to learn how to do this thing called an audit. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> and then he was like, man, you got to get a lawyer. And so I searched, I found Jay-Z's auditor, right? And then this guy. Okay, so he found Jay-Z's auditor. Okay, so notice, so that means that all these artists know you got to have a, a lawyer that that audits it. But you got to ask yourself why, if the music industry is a good industry, why do you got to hire some other guy, okay, that knows the law, okay, to come in and find your money, money that you're supposed to have, 
okay and, and that the record label is supposed to give you keep that in mind went and said i'll do it for you know i'm not gonna charge you up front i'm gonna take a piece and i was like okay okay the lawyer took a piece of his money the lawyer obviously knows that there's that there that these labels are hiding money but how is all this legal you guys gotta ask you gotta gotta ask questions how is there legally able to hide money from an artist that they signed that's kind of ripping them off and then saying that they got to pay this money back later do y'all see the game okay hopefully you guys see it let's carry on so he goes and finds over six hundred thousand dollars that the label hid from me okay so he finds this amount of uh, money now this is nuts because they do this to, to, to every artist and they get away with it somehow, some way. And the lawyers seem like, this is why I say the lawyers work with them, okay? Because honestly, like, the lawyers technically don't take these guys to court, right? They usually call them up, say, hey, you know, I got my guy, Chamillionaire Art. Let's just use me, for example. I got my guy, Capital J Productions here. You know, he's he's signed to you guys. Hey, you know, uh, is, you need to cut him a check. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you guys you guys don't want to go to court. Let's, let's work this thing out. You know what I'm saying? You pay him his money, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, and all this other stuff will go away, right? But here's here's what people don't understand. How come they're willing to to do the right thing or be forced to do the right thing with a lawyer, right? How come they can't just give that money to what's old? Like what they they won't just give me that money that 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 I'm old and that I signed to, right? Why? I'm telling you because these people were evil. That's why. So I was like, wait a second. Is this the way it always is? It's like, yeah, you gotta keep on doing this. So I realized all my peers didn't know this. And the way I got off of Universal when they didn't want to let me go is I told them, if you don't let me go, I'm gonna go teach all these guys on the label how to do an audit. <laughs> okay, so basically he had to threaten the labels. And of course, you know, it's certain information um, that he knew that other rappers don't know. Cause the rappers, I'm telling you, they too, they too, in they're focusing too much on the fame, their fans, uh, the money. Oh, I got, I got this money. I'm gonna go get this car. I'm gonna go get this chain. I'm gonna go get this, you know. I'm gonna go to the strip club. I'm gonna make it rent. All this dumb stuff, right? That they and they should be more focused on the business, you know. But um, these type of guys, like two millionaire, they don't last long in the industry, and this is why his career didn't last long because when you're smart they don't they don't want smart people in this game they don't they don't want people like me they don't want people like two millionaire in this game because they're in it they want suckers you know they want people who they can who they easily like oh okay yeah we gave you two hundred thousand but we're we're you know we have this eight hundred thousand that we owe you but you know we're gonna hide that from you and you know hopefully you're not smart enough to see that we owe you this eight hundred thousand you know and um you know you just be cool just be cool with us and you know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep stealing from you but that's okay well we'll give you enough to eat and take care of your family whatever but we're gonna keep you know 80 percent of your money you know so it's like they're looking for people like they're looking for people who's okay with that kind of deal, you know, and just gonna turn a blind eye to to all the BS that they do to them. Okay, so uh, this is why this industry is 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 is, is wicked and obviously, but why it's wicked? Come on now, obviously somebody's behind it, right? Now for some of y'all, y'all not gonna get it, but I mean Satan is behind this industry. Okay. So uh, I think this is about it for this. <laughs> and they let me go because of that. They didn't want to. See, they don't want to pay. You know what I'm saying? So, so when y'all get in this industry, y'all just got to understand, like, you know, you got to be smart. You got to know what you're doing. You, you know, you can't, you, you can't just get happy because, you know, somebody's about to throw you a couple of millions, you know, 
you can't get happy you you need to be more alert more than ever if you're going to be signed okay you have to be you have to be on it like you you really if you're going to make that decision okay and that's basically the bottom line pay all that money yeah so that's that's pretty much what he's saying in this and um Shout out to, to Millionaire. He should have been, did an interview, should have been, came out and said this, you know, um, gave this information out. But, you know, a lot of people ain't trying to burn their bridges, you know what I mean? Like, they still have relations, like, after their career is over with these labels and stuff. So, um, you know, it, it, it'd be a lot of that. But, you know, dude is doing good. I know he's doing good for himself. He's, he's into other businesses. And, you know, he was smart. He was a very smart man. And um, he was an okay rapper, but he's a he's a better businessman, you know. But yeah, so that's all I got for you guys on this one, y'all guys. Let me know what y'all think about this. You know, when you hear guys like me talking on YouTube and um, telling my story and telling what I believe and why I believe it, do you guys, you know, um, do you guys believe people like us, or you know, do you believe people like? Um, a millionaire who was in the industry you know uh do you don't believe us tell us why do you think we're you know just hating on the industry whatever it is i would like to uh know what you guys think i'll see you guys in the next video peace